Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video of scalable thinking, we are going to learn about the Paykalk or Paysalk, whatever you want to say, algorithm. I am going to pronounce as Paykalk but whatever floats your boat. So let's understand what is Paysalk theorem and how it is useful in system design. Now in the previous videos, we have already understand about the CAP theorem that is the consistency, availability and network partition and how it helps us to define the system and how to identify the trade-offs but that particular theorem is not complete and this particular theorem enhances that particular cap theorem to have the trade-offs identified when there is no network partition as well so this theorem pekal stands for p as a network partition a as availability c for consistency e for else that means when there is no network partition. L stands for latency and C stands for consistency. Okay. So these three things we have already talked about. That is cap theorem. Okay. We have already talked about how when there is a network partition, what happens about the consistency and availability, how to handle it. But this theorem allows us to identify the trade-offs when there is a no network partition that is else part to handle latency and consistency so when there is no network partition there are two things one is latency and one is consistency now these two things is really important to identify when there is no network partition which means that are you trying to build a system that is strongly consistent or having a very low latency in these two things we have to identify the trade-offs okay so suppose if you are building a system called bank right so in the bank you need to make sure that all the transactions are consistent okay you cannot say that if two if single person is doing transaction at multiple points and if your request is going to multiple servers if they are not consistent enough then your entire ledger will be misbalanced so in that case whenever there is no network partition you need to make sure that you are building a system that is strongly consistent so whatever your server whatever your request connects to your server all those servers should or all your database should send the same data your system should be strongly consistent if the trade-off is latency okay so if it's taking more time to complete the request suppose your standard request if completing the request when one server is taking about 200 milliseconds but if i have three to four servers av available and i am planning for a strong consistency then it's taking a second as well thousand milliseconds then that should be okay because you are targeting for strong consistency and your application needs that strong consistency to be reliable okay so in that case you should go for strong consistency there are applications where for few of the systems consistency strong consistency is not important if you are going ahead with the eventual consistency that is also good in that case you should optimize for latency okay so suppose your social media applications suppose your uh, dock sharing applications and all kind of things in that case latency is important you need to have the data as soon as possible okay in that case you optimize for latency in that case your trade-offs would be your strong consistency you will still have the eventual consistency but if multiple requests goes to different servers then the user might get stale data okay so that's the trade-off that you need to identify when there is no network partition either you go with strong consistency or you go with lower latencies and as we have discussed earlier you cannot guarantee both always so you need to come up with the hybrid model where for some of the operations you need to identify that for some of the operations you go with strong consistency and for some of the operations you go with lower latency and the mix of both will get you to build a system that is highly consistent as well and with lower latency as well so as we talk about this pekal theorem will allow us to understand more when there is no network partition how your system should behave based on the latency and strong consistency so these are the trade-offs that you have to identify when you are building a system and when you are giving the interviews as well 
rather than just thinking about the cap theorem think about the peckel theorem and when there is no network partition consider this scenarios as well you will consider the scenario when there is a network partition you will consider that how your system should behave available or consistent but this also you should keep in mind to build a better system that's what i wanted to share today regarding the peckel theorem and how it improves the cap theorem and how you should use it to build your systems and how you can identify the different trade offs in your application or your system it takes a lot of time and efforts to create all these videos so your like will mean a lot to me if you have enjoyed this video then give us a like and share this video with your friends and colleagues who may need it also subscribe to my channel for the awesome upcoming videos and you can also click on join button below to join my channel and support me i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye